Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to convert a string into an integer in Java. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be really simple, super easy. So I'll get into it. If you don't know who I am, my name is Alex. I make Java tutorials just like this one every single week on this channel. So if you're new here, then please consider subscribing. But first, we're just going to convert this string into an integer by going to File New Java Project. Call it string to int or whatever you want. Under the source folder, go to new class. It's gonna be our Java file. We'll just call it like string integer. Hit this first check mark and then finish. Say you've got a string that is a number and you wanna turn that into an integer. So you got string s equals say like 102. Whoa, that's not 100. 102, I don't know what's wrong. I got fat fingers. 102. You can't really do math with this because it's a string. So if I print it out, s plus four, s plus four, you'd expect 104, but when we actually run this, it's like 102 and then four tacked onto the end, so it's a string. This is super annoying and it's sure, I'm sure that you're having this pain too, but let's turn that into an integer so we can actually do math with it and make it useful. To do it, you type integer, capital integer. This has a method that'll take a string and turn it into an integer. To find that method, just type a dot, and it's got a bunch of these, but we're gonna type parse int. Now you would put your string in here, and it'll turn it into an integer. So if we actually just took this and put that instead of s, this will process the string 102. Notice that 102 looks like an integer. And then this whole piece of code right here will become the integer. So we save it and run it. And now we get 102 plus four. So that's why we get 106 now. We can do the same thing, just storing it. So we can say int n equals the result of parsing an integer and put n in here, we'll get the same thing. It might also be easier for you to understand just by removing this and putting in the number here. Now we should expect seven. But again, if this was a normal string, three plus four would be three, four instead of seven, which is probably what you actually want. You can also turn the integer back into a string. So say if we add an integer n equal to eight and we wanted to turn that into a string, like go the other way, print out the result here. We're gonna do n plus one. Right now we get nine, but if you wanted to turn it into a string, you do integer dot two string and put your integer inside. And now we get 81, so just reversing it. But what if you had a string that had one integer that you want, but it has some other characters in it too? So like, what if you had a string s like this, age 47? You can do that with something called a regular expression. Don't worry too much about how this looks. I'll explain it in a second. So here's the regular expression. It pretty much just gets the digits of a string. So if we print it out, s, then now s is just the numbers. And we can turn that into an integer just like before. Integer n equals parse int from the string s. and print out n plus two. Save, now we get 47 plus two, which is 49. So that's how to convert a string into an integer and also how to convert an integer into a string and also how to get just a integer from a string that has other letters and characters. Thank you for watching, I hope you solved your problem and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great weekend guys. Woo, Woo. we did it, we did it.